How's it going, everyone? Sean here from Raw Technique Studios. Welcome to episode number 12 of Raw Fix My Mix. We'll look at the recording process. We'll look at the mixing process of what I've done different to try to fix the mix. In this case, the mix was sounding great. I did some enhancements, just very light enhancements on the mixing side, and then some pretty different changes on the mastering side. So that's where the big difference comes in. We'll be looking at stereo enhancing because that's really what made the, the sound just really big on the sides. It just kind of opened up the whole mix. And then also we'll be looking at how to make things louder if that's what you want to do uh, using a clipping plugin. So that's the main focus here in the episode number 12. If you ever have trouble and you want more help outside of YouTube, then go over to hiphopaudioschool.com. That is my full course, over 70 videos. You get a Facebook group, you get discounts on gear, you get all kinds of stuff. So if you want to go further than just the YouTube tutorials, then check out hiphopaudioschool.com. All right, so let's jump into episode 12 of Raw Fix My Mix. What was your recording setup and uh, how did you get that going? So basically, I recorded everything in my house. Uh, so basically, this is my setup. I used my Prasana's uh, channel strip um, and uh, my SSL2. And then I, over here, I had my uh, my blue mic, my Spark. I have a couple options, but you know I, this is the one that I really predominantly used. Um, and that's pretty much it. And, you know, everything else was in the box uh, through Pro Tools with, you know, I, I'm assuming the same plugins that you have, mm -hmm. um, like the waves and all that, and some um, some um, fab filter, I think I used. All right, so there was something that I was messing with right before we jumped on this, and that's a, a clipper plugin as well. So mm -hmm. if you want it super loud, then use this. If you don't, then keep it off. But I'll show you before and after and all that. But let's go ahead and run through the mastering chain of the MP3 that I sent you. So... This is the BX Master Desk. I'm just simply trying to spread it out, uh, compress it, just like take care of DSing, total harmonic distortion, getting added in there. So it's like a bunch of plugins in one. But here it is uh, before and after. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to leave just the limiter on here. No fake lines, Glock 40 on my waistline Won't let them come and take mine Hit a home running base I, I, I wake up to kick it up, I never get no sleep uh, I've been going hard like 11 days a week uh, I grew up with nothing, so I need to find the things You wonder why I'm up and you still hanging in the streets Cause I'm on fire, like I'm a lighter I ain't the buyer, I need a fire whip It's upset, my pocket Alright, so especially on the hook like you really hear that width come in so that's it's like my go-to for getting that really wide big sound so mm -hmm. really love that right there and then also keeping just like a hundred and what this one's 117 i usually try to go around like 120 or so keep that in mono everything below that okay. saturator x like you were talking about this one adds a nice little <clears throat> punch to it so a little before and after no fake lines, Glock 40 on my waistline Won't let them come and take mine Hit a home running base I, I, slide I wake up to kick it up, I never get no sleep So on this one, usually I try to stay below the zero But this one yeah. I'm getting a little bit above So I'm getting a bit more of that like aggressive like gritty sound to it Which is fine if you like it uh, But yeah. yeah, I just decided to stick with that Keep it going okay. over uh, The limiter is where we're getting our loudness, doing our true peak limiting, dithering down, oversampling just so it runs a little bit smoother. And here it is how it's hitting it. No fake lines, Glock 40 on my waistline. Won't let them come and take mine. Hit a home running base I, I, slide. I wake up to kick it up, I never get no sleep. I've been going hard like 11 days a week. All right, so we're getting about minus 3 dB on the attenuation here. And we're averaging about minus 10 on the LUFS, which is what I usually shoot for is right there. Now, if you want it louder and you want it to really hit, then uh, you can use something like a clipper. And this is the classic clipper. So I'm just doing a little bit more on the hard clipping side of it uh, compared to like the soft clipping, pushing it in 7.2 dB to really like hit it and then bringing my output down a little bit. So I just want to make sure I'm not getting too much extra like peak out of it on my limiter. So I, what I do is I run this at the same time as I run my limiter. That way I could see where it's sitting. So 
we are getting minus three before it and then here it is i'll play it a little bit before and then i'll turn on the clipper so you can hear how much louder it gets but you'll see we don't get a huge difference in the attenuation on the uh limiter here but if you pay attention to the lufs at the same time you'll see we're getting a lot louder we'll be averaging a, uh, a lot higher so i'll reset this no fake lines, Glock 40 on my waistline Won't let him come and take mine Hit a home running baseline I, I, I wake up to kick it up, I never get no sleep uh, I've been going hard like 11 days a week uh, I grew up with nothing, so I need to find the things You wonder why I'm up and you still hanging in the streets Cause I'm on fire Like I'm a lighter, I am the buyer I need a fire whip Nerds upset, my pocket's wet I need a dryer quick Chasing the check, I need a neck It's a requirement Cause I'm on fire. Cause I'm on fire. Like I'm alive. Okay, so you get a lot more level out of it, and we're only getting 0.6 dB more on the attenuation, so it's not a huge difference on how it's hitting it. But like, if I reset this real quick, let's see, where's the, here's the hook. So here's the hook with the clipper on. Like I'm a lighter, I am the buyer, I need a fire whip Nerds upset, my pocket's wet, I need a dryer quick Chasing the check, I need a neck, it's a requirement Alright, so we're hitting way up at minus 8 on the LUFS Now, without yeah. the clipper Like I'm a lighter, I am the buyer, I need a fire whip Nerds upset, my pocket's wet, I need a dryer quick right, So it's averaging about minus 9 So, mm -hmm. that's just for a lot of people like to get loud i don't yeah. necessarily need to push it that loud like i would probably just not use the clipper because i'm not trying to really compete too much in that sense yeah. but if that's something like you're going for or if somebody else watching wants to do that where they want to push it a little bit louder to compete more then you can do that with like a clipper for example i tried it and it kind of a, a little bit distorted my mm. my sound a little bit so mm. i uh, yeah, I, I stayed with the negative 10, actually, okay. when, I, when I did my other tracks. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's, I typically would do that as well. But every now and then I'll get a client that's like, oh, I want it to just smack, like, super, super hard. So I'll do the best yeah. I can to get it loud like this and try to avoid that distortion. Uh, some Depending on the song, sometimes it just, like, you just can't get any more out of it without yeah. it distorting. So it, it's going to go song by song. Like, it's not going to be uh, every single song you could make it loud like this. It's just going to depend. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I, th I think it works fine on this. I didn't hear too much distortion when pushing it right here. All right. So that's the main thing. Now let's show just, uh, a, a little bit of a before and after so people could compare, um, what it sounds like and we'll see. So the orange button is your, uh, sample mix or reference mix or whatever that you sent over for me to check out in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then the blue will be the current mix that I'm on. Like I'm a lighter, I am the buyer, I need a fire whip. Nerds upset, my pocket's wet, I need a dryer quick. Chasing the check, I need a neck, it's a requirement. Cause I'm a fire. All right, so, like the main thing that I notice is the stereo width is just much wider. And then you get some mm -hmm. like sheen on the sides as well. So that's something that I thought was an improvement on it. And, um, was something that why I love this plugin so much and why I use yeah. it so much is just this little tiny. That's the only one. That's the only one that I don't have, and uh, I have to get it. <laughs> all right, now let's look at the verses before and after. So here's the first verse. Here's your mix first, and then I'll switch over to mine. Okay. I'm a stone cold rider. Keep heat like a fire. Please orange my lighter. I ain't never been a liar. Getting money my priors. Coming up, we ain't have much. Now I'm trying to run a bag up. Bring it in and let it stack up. Never counted what I bagged up. I'm heating up because the fire lit. Bad chick, my requirements. It got hot like a fire pit. Knock it down and go buy a brick. Pipe all on her tummy. Then it's back to getting money. I ain't never been a. All right, so it's louder. That's the main thing. Yeah, I hear. I, 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 I hear how the piano. And the vocals, uh, how they work together now. Yeah. Before I kind of had them like separate, like I like, it's like, uh, I wanted the vocal to show, and I really didn't have much of the piano's body there. Mm. But now it's like glued together. I hear. Also, I did add a little bit of processing to the vocals to try to make them cut a little bit more. So here's what I did. I did a uh, the 
exciter just to push it a little bit more through. And then that adds a bit more sibilance, so I de-essed it. And then this is to target certain sibilance that was coming through and bring down a little bit of the, not really mud or anything, but just like this lower end that I wasn't really liking, so I brought that down a bit. So here's just the vocal uh, before and after. I'm a stone cold rider, keep heat like a fire, please orange my lighter, I ain't never been a liar, getting money my priors, coming up we ain't have much, now I'm trying to run a bag up, bring it in and let it stack up, never counted what I bagged up, I'm heating up cause the fire lit, bad chick my requirements, make it hot like a fire pit, knock it down and go buy a brick, pipe all in her tummy, then it's back to getting money, I ain't never been a dummy, when I'm up swish she love me, for- Alright so it just- gives the vocal a little bit more of like a thinner sound and it helps it just cut through the mix just a tiny bit more. Other verse here, same thing, but this time I didn't use the EQ, it's just the exciter and a de -esser. So here's before and after. I ain't going back to being broke. I light a fire, you know how I go. All this drink had me moving slow. Back when I was sleeping on the floor. They scared to live, everybody woke. I pick and choose any money more. She wanna hang, but I gotta go. All right, so again, it's just, making it so it could cut through a little bit more. And okay. when I put this into the mix, so here it is uh, without and with while listening to the beat. Cause I'm a fire. I ain't going back to being broke. I light a fire, you know how I go. All this drink had me moving slow. Back when I was sleeping on the floor. They scared to live, everybody woke. I pick and choose any money mo. She want to hang, but I got to go. All right, so you can hear it cutting through a little bit more. And then same yeah. thing for the first verse. I'm a, I'm a stone cold rider, keep heat like a fire. Please orange my lighter. I ain't never been a liar, getting money my priors. Coming up, we ain't have much. Now I'm trying to run a bag up. Bring it in and let it stack up. Never counted what I bagged up. I'm heating up because the fire. All right, so this one, I, I noticed mostly the like mid range change. It's like mm -hmm. it does cut through a little bit more, but I noticed that just like tonal shift. And that is the main reason I use this exciter, is it just shifts. The sound from like the lower mids and it like I don't know how exactly it does it but it sounds like it's pulling it and then pushing highs like kind of okay. like that that's what I like imagine when I use this plugin so that's what I was kind of going for on it and I thought it helped uh, cut through a little bit more there I'm really I'm really liking how the piano and the vocals are coming together that's <laughs> that's probably the biggest one of the biggest differences I hear between this mix and mine like mm how the piano and the vocal are working together. Because uh, yeah. before, like, I was like, oh, man, I don't want the piano to really, like, mess up my vocal, so mm. let me bring it down. That was my way of doing it, oh, you see. know. Um, but that sounds great. That yeah. sounds fantastic. I just bumped it up a little bit there. But I think the main difference as far as, like, what makes the piano sound how they sound is that stereo width from this plugin. Because okay. it doesn't just spread them. It also e it EQs it in a way that makes them stand out more on the sides. So it's like a that's why I like this one because it does stereo enhancing in a different way than just like a spread like an S1 Imager or something like that. Just focusing on the pianos with this stereo spreader. So it's like they sound huge, like everything sounds big. But like the pianos, mm -hmm. like at first you're kind of like, okay, they're in there, but they're a little lower. And then now it's like, oh, here they are, like right here on the sides of my yeah. head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I hear him. I hear him. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. So I think that's like the main thing is like stereo enhancing could really change the sound of a mix. So it's something mm -hmm. I try to do on every single mix now. This is J Flo. He has his album out here. I'll have the link down below in the description. So if you're liking his stuff uh, and you want to check out the whole thing, click on that and give it a listen. All right, so thank you guys for watching Raw Fix My Mix episode 12. If you need extra help outside of YouTube, hiphopaudioschool.com, over 70 videos, private Facebook group for you to get help, ask questions, submit your mixes. I'll check them out, give you some critiques, and you can get discount on gear and all kinds of stuff like that. So hiphopaudioschool.com if you need extra help outside of YouTube. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.